Hello, in this video we will focus on importing data from PDF files into Excel. This is an important topic that proves highly useful in data analytics, reporting and data processing workflows. Whether in business or daily life, there are many instances where you might need to extract and organize data from PDF files. Excel's powerful feature for importing data from PDFs greatly simplifies data analysis process and supports data-driven decision-making. PDF provides a format for storing documents in a way that cannot be easily edited or converted into structured data. This is where Excel's PDF data import feature comes in, allowing you to transform this information into editable and meaningful data. Many organizations store financial reports, customer data, survey results, or other types of information in PDF files. Importing data from PDFs into Excel is critical for analyzing, reporting, and utilizing this data in various business process. Now let's explore how we can transfer data from a PDF to Excel. Before we start, let's examine our PDF file. As you see, this file contains numerous tables with numerical data on topics related to local climatological data beta release daily summary. Since this PDF contains many tables, you will notice during the process that multiple tables will be created in Excel. Now let's go to the My Excel worksheet. I will click on Data, then choose Get Data, and finally From File, From PDF. In the Import Data window, I will navigate to the PDF file I, will, I, I have downloaded and click Import. After this sec selection, Excel scans all the text and tables in PDF so we need to wait for a moment. For files with more pages, this process might take longer. Once the scan is complete, you will see a list of options compromising the tables found in, in the PDF. A total of 124 tables have been generated for us. Depending on your needs, you can select a single table to transform or use the select multiple items that items option at the top to choose specific tables for conversion. For this demonstration, I will choose a single table. Looking at the table 1, it contains a data set on daily temperature conditions. Let's review this table in the PDF. As you can see, the header is merged, which means Excel doesn't take this part as is into the table format. Therefore, we need to make some adjust adjustments to the table before loading it. While the table is selected, I will click on the transform data. This opens the Power Query editor. Here, I will first remove the top row. To this, go to Remove Rows, Remove Top Rows, and enter 2 since I want to delete the first two rows. If you want to delete more rows, simply specify the number of rows to remove here. Click OK and as you can see, the top row has been removed. Next, we need to promote the first row of data to headers. To, the, to do this, select Use First Row as Headers. As you can see, the data has now been converted into proper table headers. Finally, I will click Close and Load to convert it into an Excel table. As you can see, the table is now in a format that is ready for analysis, further processing, or creating visualizations. If you right-click on the table, 
you will notice it it is still linked to the external data source to disconnect it completely go to the table options and select unlinked data source the table remains in excel format and you can perform any calculations or modifications as you wish importing data from pdfs into excel is powerful method that plays a vital role in data analytic and reporting workflows by organizing and analyzing data business in various industries can draw meaningful insights and make informed decisions i hope learning this method helps you make data driven decision and run efficient process i hope you found this one uh, i hope you found this information helpful excel is a robust and versatile tool that can simplify your work when used correctly if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also feel free to leave your feedback or ask questions about other excel tips and in the comment section see you in the next video goodbye